try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. Visit gotomeeting.com slash techpodcasts. Welcome to The Five. I'm Rich DeMiro. In this episode, we're taking a look at phones that don't look prepaid. You know, prepaid wireless minutes overall are more expensive, but you don't have to have a contract. Just because you want to go month to month doesn't mean you have to carry around a bare bones flip. These phones are packed with some of the latest features, but keep in mind, just because they sport a keyboard, they're not exactly smartphones. First up on our list, the Motorola Clutch i465 from Boost Mobile. This phone features the bleep leap you depend on, plus the flexibility of a full keyboard. You definitely don't have to be a math genius to own this phone. Boost Mobile gives you unlimited voice, web, walkie-talkie, messaging, and more for just 50 bucks a month. The Clutch features a full QWERTY keyboard, Bluetooth, and GPS. However, the third of a megapixel camera will leave you with pretty pathetic pictures. Next up on our list of phones that don't look prepaid, the Samsung Finesse from Metro PCS. This phone features a full touch screen. The phone runs Samsung's proprietary TouchWiz interface. There's an HTML browser, 2 megapixel camera, GPS, and email. Metro PCS unlimited service is limited to certain markets and is best if you don't travel much. Worth a mention in our list of phones that don't look prepaid, the Verizon Blitz. This phone is dirt cheap, but still packs some great features. The best one being the Verizon Wireless Network. Let's face it, with a lot of prepaid phones, you get what you pay for. Blitz will get you on the same high-quality network as a plan with a two-year contract. Blitz sports a slide-out QWERTY keyboard, Bluetooth, email, camera, and even runs VZ Navigator. Next up, a phone from AT&T that will give you some big league features without that expensive monthly bill. The Samsung A177 is a messaging phone without the fuss. Nothing groundbreaking about this Go phone, but it's packed with everything you need to keep in touch. There's a full keyboard to text, email, and IM. There's also a camera and mobile browser. Since it's AT&T, you get coverage everywhere you go, in the U.S. or abroad. Virgin Mobile shook up the prepaid wireless market with its no-nonsense plans and phones targeted towards text-heavy teens. Now Sprint has acquired the company, so there will be some changes. But until then, the Ecstasy by Kyocera has a funny name, but you'll appreciate its features. The front of the phone has a big bright screen. A quick rotation reveals a slide out keyboard, and all your basics are covered. Bluetooth, browser, email, and IM. Throw in games and an MP3 player, and you'll be saying top me up in no time. Unlike other prepaids, Virgin Mobile keeps your number active for a year, even if you don't load minutes for a while. Finally on our list of phones that don't look prepaid, a phone that has become the envy of thumbs everywhere. A BlackBerry is all business, but you can make it your prepaid pleasure thanks to T-Mobile. What more could you ask for? The BlackBerry Pearl you know and love in all its prepaid glory. Sure, you'll pay a bit more for the phone up front, but soon you'll be surfing and huddled over in that BlackBerry prayer position. The tiny keypad will take some getting used to. As a bonus, this version of the Pearl features Wi-Fi for super fast surfing. There you have it, five phones that don't look prepaid. In case you're wondering about a prepaid iPhone, AT&T officially says the 3GS is not approved for GoPhone rate plans. That's not to say it can't be done. All right, if all these phones are way too fancy for you, remember, there's always track phone. I'm Rich Tamiro. See you next time on The Five.